Hello fabulous one, so I'm getting very excited now because I'm starting to get the hang of it and so this is part two of how soul, mind and body work together, how the mind veils soul and body and keeps them separated. You see this diagram or this uh, drawing what I made and you want to know how I came to this drawing you have to watch the first video but this one the second video I'm now going to explain to you how soul, mind and body are fabulous one and how they have to line up. So we're going to take it to a deeper level now. And what is very important for you to know in the Fabulous One philosophy is, are those four minds. And I've given them their own name. And so soul is called the free self, the body is called the frequency self, but the mind is split. The mind is split into a fabulous self and a fake self. So I got an illustration here and let me open this one as well so that you can see my school. I have a self mastery school for moms where I teach you the fabulous one fractal selves 60 minute masterclass. There is well the fabulous one family of all other moms who wish to connect to their higher self. And I also give you 68 pages of my book for free when you register for my Self Mastery School for Moms, student level membership is free. And I also have a secret podcast that is not shared publicly and every month I upload a new secret podcast. And so if you want to see them closer, these are the Fabulous One Fractal Selves. And this is the free self, she's the soul. This is the body, she is the frequency self. And this is the um, fabulous self, she is the conscious mind. And this is the fake self, she is the unconscious mind. And the body, because of the work of Dr. Candace Pert, Molecules of Emotions, the body in my book is the subconscious mind. And if you wish to know these four characters or four archetypes that I've created on a deeper level, then watch my masterclass. It's for free. It's very exciting and it's just phenomenal teaching. So I would invite you to come to my school. So these four, how can I represent them here? And if you are familiar with chakra systems or if you're familiar with the colors of the rainbow and their frequency and vibration, you will notice that the colors that I'm choosing are on purpose. Now you might wonder, okay, but then why did you make the fake self pink? Because the fake self is not the highest vibration because violet and, and pink are one of the highest frequency uh, colors. And so I should actually make the fake self red because red is a very uh, low density vibrational frequency. But there is a reason why I did that. It is basically the lower, the lower self that needs to remember she is the higher self. And so the fake self thinks she's fake, but she's not. There is no such thing as a fake self. That's the false self. She's an illusion. Why is she an illusion? Because the fabulous self has created her so they can create the veil so because the fabulous why did the fabulous self create her because the fabulous self can only be fabulous she can't be anything else she doesn't accept anything else because she doesn't want to be judged by the outside world and if you know or are familiar with the teaching of uh, dr carl young who coined the term persona so the fabulous self is the persona you show to the world so who is the real fake self? Who's the true fake self? It's actually the fabulous self. And the fabulous self does not accept certain parts of herself and therefore made it fake. And because these two are separated, pulled apart, it's basically the mind that has pulled herself apart between what is accepted and what is not accepted. And what is not accepted, she threw it away. She pushed it away. She's trying to hide it in the closet with all the other skeletons. But the truth is you can't hide from yourself. 
you can't do away with whatever you don't want to deal with it's still going to be there as a tension between the fabulous self and the fake self it's going to be a tension and that tension is actually upholding the feel because as long as the fabulous self doesn't accept herself for who she is fully and truly and as long as the fabulous self doesn't understand that she has never been fake she has no fake self she has no parts of herself that are fake but as long as the fabulous self believes that she will be she, you you will keep yourself on this infinity loop separated from soul and body and so what makes this teaching a little bit advanced is that the fabulous self is neither positive nor negative she is whatever she says she is however she perceives it does that make sense the persona the person that i show to the outside world is whoever i think is fabulous doesn't mean you think i'm fabulous it means i believe that these certain personality traits or the way i present myself the way i speak the way i look these are the things that i show to the outside world so these are the things that i'm at least a little bit comfortable and confident about otherwise i wouldn't be showing them to you i would be hiding them moving them away and so very often this is also done with our personality with characteristics with personality traits not just with physical attributes but with the way we speak maybe your true personality or your true self you're a little bit more abrasive or a little bit harsher in the way you think but when you say something to someone else it always comes out a lot softer or a lot uh, more timid or less aggressive than you thought it was in your head you know when you're angry with someone this is a good example you know when you're really angry with someone and you're just going over it in your mind and you're just angry and you're like i should have said this and i should have said that and i should have told them this and i should have told them that right or her and you're in your mind you're so angry and that's your true self because you're you're now merging you know you're merging um what you what you have perceived with what you really think and you're merging but then and then some of us are always you know i used to be like that as well i would call my best friend and i'd be complaining i'd be like yeah you know so and so and so did this to me or said this to me what do you think i don't think it's right i don't think she should do this or should she, she should say that or if i'm angry with my husband or i have something to complain about with my about my husband i'll call my best friend and i'll complain i'll tell her oh he did this or he said this and then she'll try to her best to the best of her abilities to give me advice or to help me and so in that moment you you're actually showing your true self because even though you're poisonous you're angry but it's the truth you're 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 angry so you're either unleashing it in your own mind or you're calling your best friend and you're venting right to, to get it out of your system but you're showing your true colors your best friends your best friends know your true color so but then when it comes time to confront your husband or when it comes time to have the conversation the uncomfortable conversation the unpleasant conversation all of a sudden you split in half again and you become fabulous which i'm basically saying we become fake because now we're in the conversation but we're not truly honest about how we feel we're not truly honest about how vulnerable we feel we're not truly honest about the fact that we actually feel weak taken advantage of yes we're angry and we can point fingers and we can attack but that's the fabulous self you see the fabulous self she's the conscious mind but she will only show you what she's comfortable with showing you and then she can also but she, but but her vulnerability is with the fake self you see so this is actually so so you're not going to admit or be honest that whatever your husband did or whatever somebody else did to you is actually hurting you you actually feel hurt you actually feel ignored you actually feel unheard but your fabulous self your persona 
is not able to express that. So that's why it's kind of harsh to say fake self, because of course, if you listen to that from a dualistic mindset and you're not really um, into the deeper philosophies and you don't like to read about the deeper philosophies, I understand you're automatically going to assume, oh, you're calling me a bad person, but no. Fake is literally everything that is not real, but that is, that is pushed away by you, that you don't want to deal with. It's basically everything that you don't want to deal with, even positive attributes, because we do the same thing with positive things. We do the same thing by not stepping into our greatness. We fantasize about having a fantastic, phenomenal business. I would love to be a millionaire, right? You have these fantasies about being very, very successful, and that would be stepping into your greatness. That, that would be becoming the best version of you, but then there are obstacles along the way, and then it's not working out the way you want it to work out, or you get thrown into a completely different life path, and now you're fighting against it because you thought you were going this way, but now you, you end up on a completely different path and you become negative. But we don't understand that these are reasons that we use, excuses that we use in order not to walk towards our soul. So everything that is not in alignment with the soul will be in, on the infinity loop. You're moving from left to right, from negative to positive, from past to future. And you keep doing it over and over again until you decide to completely line up, to completely line up as one soul, mind, body alignment. And so the four selves need to unite as one. So let me add here at the fake self that she's not positive nor negative. She's everything the opposite of. So she's anti, she's anti positive and anti negative. And if this is, uh, if this going too deep, if this is going too deep, then you need to come to my school and I can explain it to you for as long as you want. <laughs> But this is a video, so I have no idea if, if I can't ask you any questions. And so just leave some comments. If, if you have any questions, just leave the comments, leave it in the comments and then I can answer them for you. So because what's what's very important is that we start to think that we need to become a more positive person. No, you need to become your true self. You need to become an aligned person. And so the same principle applies and what needs to happen is that these four self they need to um, maintain their individual self no i don't like this color let's go back to blue and make it a little smaller let's make it 10 okay and so they literally need to line up you see you see what is happening oh my god this is looking so amazing and so these four need to line up and now when these four line up together you become fabulous one. Let me go get my logo here. When the four minds unite as one, you become fabulous one. And this is what needs to happen. Now, I'm not saying this is going to happen overnight. I'm not saying this is uh, something that's going to be very um, 
easy to do just by simply understanding it. It is, it's two parts to this. Everything, you know, just like in regular school, because I have a self-mastery school for moms. So just like in regular school, there is theory and then there's practice. You, you need to do, in order to get your driving's license, you need to do theory and you need to pass the exam in order to do the practice exam. So as well in Fabulous One Philosophy, there is the theory where we study and you learn, you learn, you learn, you read my book, you study, you, you study the teaching, you ask me a lot of questions and uh, we're gonna keep studying until you really, really grasp your soul, mind and body. You understand the basically the mechanics of it. And that's the part that's philosophy of mind. But then the second part, the practical part, is the application, the implementation, practicing in your real life, doing it in your real life, becoming fabulous one, the embodiment of becoming fabulous one. And so that, of course, is going to take time. You're going to stumble and fall. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to have to pick your mind back up, <laughs> dust your mind off again and tell your mind it's all right because the fabulous self and the fake self really need to unite again because the fabulous self, the fake self isn't fake. The fake self is fierce. And so once you transform your fake self into your fear self, Now you become so powerful. You see what just happened? You will become a walking, talking soul. Because the free self, the fabulous self, the fear self and the frequency self unite as one and become fabulous one. So let me let me take let me take another another one of my logos. <laughs> this is better. And become fabulous one we'll make it a little bigger then when you meet in the middle when all the four meet in the middle and so in my book I go very deep I give you the details of what, how the fabulous self got created, the conscious mind. I give you the details about how the fake self got created and how does, does that, and how does she operate in your day to day. I tell you about the soul, the free self, and how in the beginning they, she was united with the body, but then once the mind got created, the mind separated soul and body. And I tell you also in details what the function of the body is and, and how powerful the body really is and that the body is the subconscious mind, but the subconscious mind is a part of the energy body. So the subconscious mind is a smaller part of the bigger part, which is the energy body. And the energy body is the one that wakes up when you become a mother. But now we're going really deep into metaphysical teaching. And um, yeah, throughout the next coming weeks, I'm gonna make more videos like this. And I hope this made sense. And if it didn't, just leave a comment down below and let me know how, you, uh, how you've perceived this teaching. And I'm just gonna keep creating and creating more of these type of videos because I really enjoy it and I like explaining and visualizing at the same time. I'm getting the hang of it. So thank you for watching and um, yeah, see you in the next video. Thank you for listening. If you would like to get familiar with the complete teaching of the Fabulous One philosophy, I highly recommend you buy my book. And if you are excited to become a self master, I invite you to join my online self mastery school for moms where I help you transform your inner saboteur into your inner strength so you can make each day your masterpiece. Student level membership is free. Looking forward to seeing you inside.